Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we're going to have a little bit of a conversation for just a little bit of a second, about 15 minutes, give or take. Now, I got me some organic, organic, I see it, strawberries right here in front of me, me and my organic strawberries, frozen organic strawberries. Man, that is on a warm day. We started out pretty good today. We started out at 42 degrees this morning. Outside, it was about 37, but we started about 42 degrees this morning, and we made it all the way to about 85 degrees today. Let me tell you all something. Now, we were hotter outside. That's as warm as it got inside. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't play that. (laughs) We don't play that, especially on a Wednesday. Nobody gets to call me. Okay, nobody gets to call me. Mm-mm, not like that. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry, I have, uh, it's Fear Not is the song that's in my background. Y'all don't know that song. That's Jehovah My Witnesses. It's, it's called a melody, and it's playing in my ear. Y'all can't hear it. I got to just turn it down because it's going to distract me because I'm saying the words to myself. So I turned it down so that that can't happen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, that's what I do during my day. I have music playing in my ear. I told you I'm a man all day long. Music kind of sore. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry about the wind, but, you know, we got to have that wind blowing with the ocean breeze and so forth, so we got to have that. Many of you have been bewildered because you didn't know anything about tax credits other than the word tax credits and that some people got them and some people didn't. But then all of a sudden, somebody started doing videos on tax credits in 2021. And then at the moment he stepped his foot back on the scene, and now everybody's talking about tax credits, but they still don't know what to do with tax credits. Let me explain something so that you guys understand. Your best tax credits are under business. Business. All right, now I gotta pause y'all for just a second because I gotta. It's getting too cold in here. One second, ladies and gentlemen. So let's have a chit chat about um, credits so that you guys can get a better understanding. As I was mentioning, most credits should be done under the auspices of a corporation. Each of you, when you went and got a social security number. They gave you a corporation. Social security numbers are never supposed to be given to corporations, but social security numbers are given to corporations all the time. You see, they gave you a corporation. Social security numbers are not given to corporations, but they gave you. You're not a corporation. They gave you a social security number. Social security numbers are interchangeable with sole proprietorships. If you don't believe me, just do 1041 Schedule C and look along the very top where you will see it lists sole proprietor and social security number for individual taxpayer income uh, income filing. Pay attention. Individual is singular, not a corporation, never a corporation. So when it says individual, tax filings, it's talking about that entity that they delivered to you. They did not create it. Say what? Don't say they delivered it. Yes, they delivered it. They didn't create it. It's not theirs. It's yours. (laughs) It was created by way of contract. There was a contract entered into as a result of the, pay attention, New Deal. New Deal is a contract. That contract allows you to participate in the game, the scheme, the matrix. That contract allows you to have a corporation, to operate for your sole purpose. That's why it's called a sole proprietorship, because it's yours. It doesn't belong to them. So start using and doing everything under your sole proprietorship. Go to the IRS website and get a sole proprietor EIN. If, if I were you, I'd get I'd go watch that video on he murdered his straw man. I'd watch that video, and that's what I would do. I mean, that's if I was doing it. 
and then I'll use that EIN number from now on. They want a social security number, you give them the EIN number. They want to do taxes, you give them the EIN number. This is everything is done under this number. Well, I don't know we can do that. I didn't ask you if you knew. I'm telling you everything is going to be done under that number. That is the law. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, all of your necessities, you get to write off every single year. Don't let one of these little stupid tax agents tell you that I don't know what I'm talking about. Tell them to prove to me that I don't get to write off my necessities. And then go and take a look at the Act of May 12, 1933. Hold on. Y'all hold on. Give me a second. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize to you guys. I don't have a lot of time. I'm just going to show you this and let you know that the government is responsible for taking care of your necessities of life. This is May 12, 1933. We're going to do Control F because we're looking for it, and I'm just going to type in the word life. Give me my control F. Where are you at? See, it's playing games, y'all. It knows I need to do a search, and it ain't doing no search. L-I-F-E, life. Look at that. Remember, local and state funds resulting in the existence and threatened deprivation of a considerable number of families and individuals of the necessities of life, making it imperative an obligation that the federal government cooperate more effectively with the several states and territories as a result of what? The March 9, 1933 Act. There is a contract. That's why it is imperative that they work with the states because they entered into that agreement. If you don't believe me, go and read it. But those organizations don't, yes, they do. They just morph into other organizations. This is now FEMA. Make them prove it's not. Start writing off your necessities, people. Lord have mercy. I can't do it all for you. You guys got to go and read for yourself. Making it imperative that the federal government cooperate more effectively with the several states, territory, District of Columbia. Now, hold on now. What are they furnishing? Relief to their needy and distressed people. That means every one of them, every one of them, that Congress hereby declares that the present economic depression has created a serious emergency. That emergency has not been declared over. It's called the Federal Emergency Relief Act. Federal Emergency Relief Act. That's how you find this. Provide for the necessities of life to persons in need as a result of the present emergency and or to their dependents, that's us, my mama, my daddy, my grandmama, my grandfather, my grandpappy, whether resident, transient, or homeless. Mama, she's homeless. That's right. He gets some necessity benefits. So y'all need to pay attention. It's been there this whole time, May 12th, 1933. It's been there the whole time, May 12, 1933. It's been there the whole time. Got to go. Take care of yourselves. I'm out of here.